Question 1. You want to turn right at a box junction. What should you do if there's oncoming traffic? A. Wait in the box junction if your exit is clear. B. Wait before the junction until it's clear of all traffic. C. Drive on, you can't turn right at a box junction. D. Drive slowly into the box junction when signaled by oncoming traffic. The correct answer is A. Wait in the box junction if your exit is clear. Question 2. You're reversing into a side road. When would your vehicle be the greatest hazard to passing traffic? A. After you've completed the maneuver. B. Just before you begin to maneuver. C. After you've entered the side road. D when the front to your vehicle swings out. The correct answer is, D when the front to your vehicle swings out. Question 3. Where's the safest place to park your vehicle at night? A in a garage b on a busy road c in a quiet car park d near a red route the correct answer is a in a garage Question 4. When may you stop on at Urban Clearway? A. To set down and pick up passengers. B. To use a mobile telephone. C. To ask for directions. D. To load or unload goods. The correct answer is A. To set down and pick up passengers. Question 5. You're looking for somewhere to park your vehicle. Neither you nor your passenger are disabled. What should you do if the only free spaces are marked for disabled drivers? A. Use one of these spaces. B. Park in one of these spaces but stay with your vehicle. C. Use one of the spaces as long as one is kept free. D. Wait for a regular parking space to become free. The correct answer is. D. Wait for a regular parking space to become free. Question 6. You're on a road that's only wide enough for one vehicle. What should you do if a car is coming towards you? A. Pull into a passing place on your right. B. Force the other driver to reverse. C. Pull into a passing place if your vehicle is wider. D. Pull into a passing place on your left. The correct answer is D. Pull into a passing place on your left. Question 7. You're driving at night with your headlights on main beam. A vehicle is overtaking you. When should you dip your headlights? A. Sometime after the vehicle has passed you. B. Before the vehicle starts to pass you. C. Only if the other driver dips their headlights. D. As soon as the vehicle passes you.
The correct answer is D. As soon as the vehicle passes you. Question 8. When may you drive a car in this bus lane? A. Outside its hours of operation. B. To get to the front of traffic queue. C. You may not use it at any time. D. To overtake slow moving traffic. The correct answer is A. Outside its hours of operation. Question 9. Other than direction indicators, how can you give signals to other road users? A. By using brake lights. B. By using side lights. C. By using fog lights. D. By using interior lights. The correct answer is A. By using brake lights. Question 10. You're parked in a busy high street. What's the safest way to turn your vehicle around so you can drive in the opposite direction? A. Turn around in a quiet side road. B. Drive into a side road and reverse out into main road. C. Ask someone to stop the traffic. D. Carry out a U-turn. The correct answer is A. Turn around in a quiet side road. Question 11. Where should you park your vehicle at night? A. Near a police station. B. In a quiet road. C. On a red route. D. In a well-lit area. The correct answer is D. In a well-lit area. Question 12. You're driving either right-hand lane of a dual carriageway. What should you do if you see a sign showing that right-hand lane is closed 800 yards ahead? A. Keep in that lane until you reach the queue. B. Move to the left immediately. C. Wait and see which lane is moving faster. D. Move to the left in good time. The correct answer is D. Move to the left in good time. Question 13. You're driving on a road that has a cycle lane. What does it mean if the lane is marked by a broken white line? A. You shouldn't drive in the lane unless it's unavoidable. B. There's a reduced speed limit for motor vehicles using the line. C. Cyclists can travel in both directions in the lane. D. The lane must be used by motorcyclists in heavy traffic. The correct answer is A. You shouldn't drive in the lane unless it's unavoidable. Question 14. When you are allowed to park in a parking bay for disabled drivers. A. When you have a blue badge. B. When you have a wheelchair. C. When you have an advanced driver certificate. D. When you have an adopted vehicle.
The correct answer is A. When you have a blue badge. Question 15. When must you stop your vehicle? A. If you're involved in an accident that causes damage or injury. B. At a junction where there are giveway lines. C. At the end of a one-way street. D. Before merging onto a motorway. The correct answer is A. If you're involved in an accident that causes damage or injury. Question 16. How can you identify traffic signs that give orders? A. They're rectangular with a yellow border. B. They're triangular with a blue border. C. They're square with brown border. D. They're circular with a red border. The answer is D. They're circular with a red border. Question 17. What shape are traffic signs giving orders? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 18. Which signs mean no entry? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is A. Question 19. What does this sign mean? A. Maximum speed limit with traffic calming. B. Minimum speed limit with traffic calming. C. 20 cars only parking zone. D. Only 20 cars allowed at any one time. The correct answer is A. Maximum speed limit with traffic calming. Question 20. What does this sign mean? A. New speed limit 20 miles per hour. B. No vehicles over 30 tons. C. Minimum speed limit 30 miles per hour. D. End of 20 miles per hour zone. The correct answer is D. End of 20 miles per hour zone. Question 21. What does this sign mean? A. No overtaking. B. No motor vehicles. C. Clear way, no stopping. D. Cars and motorcycles only. The correct answer is B. No motor vehicles. Question 22. What does this sign mean? A. No parking. B. No road markings. C. No through road. D. No entry. The correct answer is D. No entry. Question 23. 
What does this sign mean? A. Bend to the right. B. Road on the right closed. C. No traffic from the right. D. No right turn. The correct answer is D. No right turn. Question 24. Which sign means no entry? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 25. What does this sign mean? A. Route for trams only. B. Route for buses only. C. Parking for buses only. D. Parking for trams only. The correct answer is, A, route for trams only. Question 26. What type of vehicle does this sign apply to? A, wide vehicles. B, long vehicles. C, high vehicles. D, heavy vehicles. The correct answer is C. High vehicles. Question 27. Which sign means no motor vehicles allowed? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is B. Question 28. What does this sign mean? A. You have priority. B. No motor vehicles. C. Two-way traffic. D. No overtaking. The correct answer is D. No overtaking. Question 29. What does this sign mean? A. Waiting restriction apply. B. Waiting permitted. C. National speed limit applies. D. Clear way, no stopping. The correct answer is A. Waiting restriction apply. Question 30. What does this sign mean? A. End of restricted speed area. B. End of restricted parking area. C. End of clearway. D. End of cycle route. The correct answer is B. End of restricted parking area. Question 31. Which sign means no stopping? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is B. Question 32. What does this sign mean? A. 
national speed limit applies. V. Waiting restrictions apply. C. No stopping. D. No entry. The correct answer is C. No stopping. Question 33. What does this sign mean? A. Distance to parking place ahead. B. Distance to public telephone ahead. C. Distance to public house ahead. D. Distance to passing place ahead. The correct answer is A. Distance to parking place ahead. Question 34. What does this sign mean? A. Vehicles may not park on the verge of footway. B. Vehicles may park on the left-hand side of the road only. C. Vehicles may park fully on the verge or footway. D. Vehicles may park on the right-hand side of the road only. The correct answer is C. Vehicles may park fully on the verge or footway. Question 35. What does this traffic sign mean? A. No overtaking allowed. B. Give priority to oncoming traffic. C. Two-way traffic. D. One-way traffic. The correct answer is B. Give priority to oncoming traffic. Question 36. What's the meaning of this traffic sign? A. End of two-way road. B. Give priority to vehicles coming towards you. C. You have priority over vehicles coming towards you. D. Bus lane ahead. The correct answer is C. You have priority over vehicles coming towards you. Question 37. What shape is a stop sign? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 38. In winter, road signs can become covered by snow. What does this sign mean? A. Crossroads. B. Give way. C. Stop. D. Turn right. The correct answer is C. Question 39. What does this sign mean? A. Service area 30 miles ahead. B. Maximum speed 30 miles per hour. C. Minimum speed 30 miles per hour. D. Lay bay 30 miles ahead. The correct answer is C. Minimum speed 30 miles per hour. Question 40. 
what does this sign mean? A. Give way to oncoming vehicles. B. Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. C. Turn off the next available junction. D. Pass either side to get to the same destination. The correct answer is, D, pass either side to get to the same destination. Question 41. What does this sign mean? A, route for trams. B, give way to trams. C, route for buses. D, give way to buses. The correct answer is A. Route for trams. Question 42. What messages are given by circular traffic signs that have a blue background? A. They give temporary directions during a diversions. B. They give directions to car parks. C. They give motorway information. D. They give mandatory instructions. The correct answer is, D, they give mandatory instructions. Question 43. Where would you see a contraflow bus lane? A, on a dual carriageway. B, on a roundabout. C, on an urban motorway. D, on a one-way street. The correct answer is D. On a one-way street. Question 44. What does this sign mean? A. Bus station on the right. B. Contraflow bus lane. C. With flow bus lane. D. Give way to buses. The correct answer is B. Contraflow bus lane. Question 45. What does a sign with a brown background show? A. Tourists' directions. B. Primary roads. C. Motorway routes. D. Minor roads. The correct answer is A. Tourists' directions. Question 46. What does this sign mean? A. Tourists' attraction. B. Beware of trains. C. Level crossing. D. Beware of trams. The correct answer is A. Tourists' attraction. Question 47. What's the purpose of triangular shaped signs? A. To give warnings. B. To give information. C. To give orders. D. To give directions. The correct answer is A. To give warnings. 
Question 48. What does this sign mean? A. Turn left ahead. B. T junction. C. No through road. D. Give way. The correct answer is B. T junction. Question 49. What does this sign mean? A. Multi exit roundabout. B. Risk of ice. C. Six roads converge. D. Place of historical interest. The correct answer is B. Risk of ice. Question 50. What does this sign mean? A. Crossroads. V. Level crossing with gate. C. Level crossing without gate. D. Ahead only. The correct answer is A. Crossroads. Thank you.